beauties and welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to show you guys how I created this makeup look that you see right here this makeup look was inspired by the 4th of July now I know that it may be picking up a little bit green on camera but this is sort of an aqua greenish blue and it's the color that I wanted to wear today so I was playing around with my Z palette and you guys know the one I personalized this palette just for me and I came up with this look a little while ago when I was playing around with the palette and I really liked it and it reminded me of the 4th of July it specifically reminded me of a popsicle that is called the firecracker popsicle if you're from the US you know what I'm talking about It's really really good and that's what I thought about when I created this look so I decided to get this up for you guys before the fourth in case someone wanted to try it out now you don't have to have the shadows that I have just work with what you have before we get started though I want to talk to you guys about a couple of products that I'm really excited about that I use in today's video one is this lip topper by Jouer Cosmetics and this is the skinny dip lip topper I've been wanting it for a while I was gonna go with a bold lip but because the eyes are so dramatic I decided to keep it nude and I topped it with this lip topper and I do like this a lot and also what I am most excited about for today's video is this Becca Cosmetics bronzer and let me tell you guys why oh my goodness <laughs> um, I believe that this is a new line of bronzers the line is called sunlit bronzer this particular shade is I Panama Sun and this is the next to darkest shade in the collection and all of this kind of reddish brown that you see here on my cheek is coming from this bronzer I did contour today but most of the color is from the bronzer and I have been wanting something like this forever I love all the bronzers that I have but they have different purposes and do not do what this bronzer did today y'all mm -mm. so if you're a woman of color and you've been looking for a bronzer that you can kind of almost like I could have not worn blush today if I wanted to I have seen women who are not women of color use a bronzer and not even have to wear blush and it doesn't work like that for me um, I still have to wear blush I still have to wear blush usually and I wore blush today but I thought hmm I really could skip it because this bronzer was doing the most it was doing the most so if you're a woman of color and you've been looking for a bronzer to give you this kind of look and you're my complexion or a little bit darker then you may want to check this out and if you are darker than me there is a shade darker and it has more of the reddish undertone and it will probably give you the same type of look so you may want to go to Sephora and check out these bronzers from Becca Cosmetics because the formula is fantastic and the color payoff is beautiful and it is a new favorite period even though I just used it for the first time today so I'm going to stop yammering on and let you guys find out how I created today's makeup look. As my hair keeps growing, when I put on a headband, I'm beginning to feel like an 80s chick. What I feel like is believing. I don't know the words. <laughs> So I've already completed my foundation routine and applied my brows and we're going to go ahead and start with the eyes. I'm applying this MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I used to use it a lot and haven't used it for a while so I decided to go back to it today. And then I'm going to use my personalized palette and we're going to start with Peach Smoothie in the transition area. Maybe I need to come up with a name for my palette. That might make it easier. So I also decided to go ahead and take that peach smoothie down on the lid just to set the paint pot. So now I'm going to take this next shade. This is the shade Fawn by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to use this Smith 235 brush to apply that shade to the crease as well as my lower V. And I forgot to mention that peach smoothie is made by Makeup Geek. Next, we're going to take a clean blending brush. This one is by Morphe. It's the M330 brush just to blend everything together. Now I'm taking the color Poppy and it's really an orangey, pinky, corally color that I think is gorgeous. It is made by Makeup Geek and I'm using the same Smith Cosmetics brush to apply that to my outer V. 
So to apply the next color, which will be Dragonfly by Makeup Geek, I'm going to use this Sigma brush. It is a tiny blending brush, so I wanted to use this just to make the application more precise, so any small brush will do. This one is the E36 brush by Sigma, and the more I look at this color, let me just tell you guys, it is really just green. But if you are looking for more of an aqua blue color, Makeup Geek has another shade on their website that is called Poolside. And that's the shade that I needed for this look, but did not have. So here I'm just using the Smith Cosmetics brush just to touch up my outer V. And now I'm going to apply the shade In the Spotlight by Makeup Geek. And I love this shade. And I'm using this Smith 253 brush to apply this shadow all in the center of my lid to give me that halo effect. I'm going to use the Stella Stay All Day liquid liner to line my lid and this is a new one and for some reason the struggle was real with it today. So I did have to touch up my liner um, at the end of this tutorial before I filmed my intro. <sighs> but now I'm going to give my lashes a little bit of a curl and then apply uh, mascara that was the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And then I am applying these lashes by House of Lashes. These are the Lashes Boudoir and they are gorgeous. Next, I'm going to use this Maybelline Gel Liner Pencil to line my waterline. So I'm going to use this small smudger brush by Morphe to first smudge fawn under my eye and then I'm going to basically just duplicate the same eyeshadow look on the lower lash line that I have on my lid. Using this detail crease brush by Morphe, it's an E36 brush, I'm going to pop the shade Ice Queen by Makeup Geek into my inner tear duct and I'm gonna follow it with in the spotlight that is also on my lid. So I felt like contouring today and so I'm going to use this Tarte contour brush. You guys know I've been using it for a while and the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit to contour my face. And I also forgot to pull over my little eyeshadow brush for contouring my nose so I just made it work because I just didn't want to get up and get the brush. So yeah. So here I'm just going to use one of the lighter shades from the Anastasia palette just to highlight down the center of my nose. So now I'm going to use my new bronzer by Becca and this one is in Eye Panama Sun. I'm going to use this Morphe M523 brush. Where have you been all my life? Where? Look at this bronzer. So can you tell I'm a little bit excited? Yes. And I also want to let you guys know, I have a little bit of a friend on my cheek there. I see it. I've been using black soap. And from what I understand, it will sometimes cause your skin to purge. And I think that I'm going through a little bit of purging. So hopefully it won't be there for too long. Now I'm going to go back to my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in the lighter shade and I'm going to apply that as well as begin buffing out um, any harsh lines using this It Cosmetics. Um, I think it's a buffing brush or foundation brush. Whatever it is, I'm using it. Now I'm going to apply this Absolute Powder from Lancome and it just gives me the best overall glow. I just love it and people always compliment my skin whenever I'm wearing it. I'm going to do something different for my lower lashes. I'm going to use this MAC Extended Play Mascara and it's pretty good. It's promising. And then, you know, I just had to go ham and apply more bronzer. I just wanted my cheeks to be a little bit deeper in color. So I'm going back over them with more bronzer. Yes! 
Today for highlighter, I'm going to use the Artist Couture shade in Illuminati and I'm going to apply it with my Sigma strobing fan. For blush today, I'm going to apply this fairly new blush for me. This one is the MAC shade Peaches and it is so pretty. I really love it. I'm going to take one final look around with my beauty blender and just blend out any more harsh lines that I may have. So I'm going to give you two lip options. I'm going to first apply my cork lip liner by MAC and I'm going in with this NYX lip color in Street Cred. This is a little bit more bold of an option. But of course you guys know I decided to go with the nude lip. So I'm going to apply the MAC Cork Lip Liner with Buttercup Lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics. And I'm topping it with the Skinny Dip Lip Topper by Jouer Cosmetics. After touching up my highlight on my lip, I'm going to set using this Lock It Setting Spray by Kat Von D. And this completes the look. I hope that you all have enjoyed today's video. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you again really soon. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.